one of my most famous uh, creations. I don't know how I made this up. It's, it's several years old. But it's for cereal bars. And you begin with the cereal. This is all brand. It has to be the original. This one does not have any aspartame in it. I think the um, extra fiber one does. So the recipe calls for three cups of this cereal. And I'm, I'm a little bit short because I had to make a practice round. <laughs> so three cups of this uh, all brand. And then about one and a half cups of Kashi Goline. If you can find Kashi Good Friends in the red box, that's how the original recipe was. But I can't find that anymore. The one I find now has raisins in it, and I'm, I'm not going there. So that is the cereal. And then in the recipe, it calls for loose oat bran. So I use a half a cup. I have a, this is a quarter cup size. By the way, this video camera, this is really a flip video camera, and it has a record light, so I'll know if it cuts out on me. Um, so I have my three cereals, and then I add cinnamon. I know people like to know exactly how much, but I don't know. I don't. I think I wrote a teaspoon on the recipe. I never measure this. My oven, by the way, is heating to 375. I use egg beaters just because... Um, well, a whole egg would have more calories because I'm only using an eighth of a cup. And I won't use a whole dozen of eggs, so I just buy the egg beater so I don't waste them. But there's, I don't have a problem with eggs. Um, so an eighth a cup of the egg beaters, a quarter cup of applesauce, and I use almost always the bargain brands. This is Walmart. Uh, what is it? Good, great value. But the main thing is that it's unsweetened applesauce, so it only has 50 calories for a half a cup, and we just used a quarter cup. I also use and highly recommend these Walden Farms products. In North Carolina, you can get them at Food Lion. They're on the Internet, and in Florida, I get a lot of them at Publix and uh, Richard's Whole Foods. You can get the loose oat brand at a Whole Foods store as well. This syrup says that it's calorie-free, sugar-free and calorie-free. It's not calorie-free. It probably has 5 or 10 calories per serving. Well, it has less than 5 per serving. That's how come they can call it calorie-free. So I don't know what I wrote in the recipe, but just a little <laughs> syrup. And then I used a quarter cup of skim milk. Can you see behind me? I was doing some other baking today. You can see that. Um, you can use more milk than this. I am just trying to make the product have as most nutrients and least calories as possible because I like to eat often. So the less calories one food has, that means I can eat another food later, and I do. I eat all day long. So. On the, the blog, on the recipe, it says to be very careful that before you add the water, you're ready to bake it. Because when I add the water, I'm going to probably add a cup. You can, you can tell, um, or I'll show you. But once you have the water in there and stir it up really good, you need to pour it in the pan and put it in the oven right away, or, or the cereal sucks up all the water, and it's not going to bake right. So let me grab the pan. I think this is about an eight and a half by 11. And this is butter flavored cooking spray, another Walmart brand. And I'm spraying this pretty generously. So it's ready, my oven's ready. Now I'm gonna add the water. Hope I didn't leave anything out. Well, you have the recipe in case I did, you can call me on it. So there's a cup of water there. So I'm gonna stir all these cereals together. There's no flour other than that was already in the cereal. No baking powder. I mean, it's pretty much the boxes of cereal. This is pretty good as far as the moisture goes. I might add a little bit more water. I'm not sure if you can see this. I smell the cinnamon. Sometimes I add um, vanilla syrup instead of the maple syrup. Okay, by drop, probably I mean a quarter of a cup. Right, 
Now that some of my friends have encouraged me to actually put my whole self in this video, I'm very self-conscious. I'm sure I'll get over it in a time or two. Okay, so stir it up good. Then pour it into your pan. I'm sure you can use um, a metal pan. I like the glass better. And when I lived in North Carolina, I had a nice house. Um, I baked it for 45 minutes at 375, but in my apartment, this oven is just different, so uh, 45 minutes is too long, um, so you'll have to gauge your own oven. I'm going to bake this for 42 minutes. Now you can wet your hands and pat this down like this, or you can use a spatula and pat it down, but you definitely have to pat it down with something and pull it away from the sides. So I hope that you can see me doing this, and I wish I could tell. I don't have a director. <laughs> I don't have anyone to edit my writing on the vlog or my videos. Um, basically, that's what it looks like. And after you do this a few times, you'll know if you need to add more water, less water, and how long you need to bake it for, depending on the moisture of your cereal bars. So, like I said, i got to put it right in the oven. I'm gonna, you won't see me while I'm doing that. I'm going to put it in the oven and set the timer for 42 minutes. Perhaps you can still hear me. Now I'm going to do what they do on TV and whip out the finished product. <laughs> At least I hope. I baked one a little earlier and put it in the refrigerator. That's what I like to do. So when I take it out of the oven, <clears throat> I leave it in the baking dish for uh, outside of the oven, I don't know, until it cools off some, and then I will put it in the, the whole pan into the refrigerator, and I'll leave it there overnight sometimes, but um, I feel like it cuts better if you cool it that way. So I'm going to grab the finished product now. Seriously, these cereal bars are famous. So here is the finished product. And it's been in the refrigerator for, you know, half hour to an hour. And I'm going to prop it or um, pry it away from the pan with a spatula. I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife so I can cut them. So I'm just going to go down the sides. I hope this one doesn't stick. No, I don't think it's going to. I guess you kind of cut it like brownies. So I take my cutting board over the pan and then flip it. Oh, didn't stick too bad. Like I didn't use any flour or oil or butter. Now, if you cut this into 24, it will have each bar will have 40 calories. So I think it's 960. I think I've done this math before. Let's see. 24 times 40. 960 calories for the whole block. So, you know, cut it the way you want. Cut it in half and then in half again and again. Um, I think if you make 16 bars, it's 60 calories. So that's pretty good. Um, I wouldn't eat more than two or so bars a day. And if you read what I said on the blog, that these are my wonder bars because they keep you feeling full. So I've cut that in half. And they can carry bad cholesterol. The ingredients in them can help carry bad cholesterol out of your body. And because it's fiber, you don't spike your blood sugar as you would with a Twinkie. Um, and they're good for your digestive system. That's a nice way of saying that, isn't it? Okay, so I've cut my half. I've cut it in half. Now I'm cutting that half in half. And that half in half. And same with the other. And so now I have four pieces, and I'm going to cut it in threes. And that's going to make 12. 12 for each side would make 24, and they'll have 40 calories each. And they really are yummy. Um, so that is the cereal bar recipe. I'm going to hook this up on the blog, and um, maybe next time I'll show you how to make these little cakes, which are one of my um, weekday desserts. I do a lot of cooking on the weekend, and then I enjoy the food th throughout the week. So, 
I'm going to have to, I can't jump over the counter to turn that off, so I'm going to come around, turn it off, and um, I hope you try this recipe. They're good. And um, let me know how it turns out. Thanks.